Uh, yeah, and then we got um. Well, just it's a Nintendo patent story, so you know. So make of it what you will. But a little Game Boy skin case over your touch device, your touchscreen devices, which is interesting because my current phone yeah, skin is you exactly can that. Get fooled. And well, this actually is a working thing too. It's like a real game. Like I can play Tetris on this. Oh, shit. okay, all right. Like it actually does its thing. But um. Yeah, it looks like they're making a, a thing to put over your smartphone. And so that I, you can actually play goddamn video games on it. And in uh, in theory, the buttons on the opposite side will work functionally, and then they'll play. Ga- then they'll have games that they can sell. Honestly, if any company has a shot at making this kind of controller thing, it's Nintendo. So this is to play games over your phone instead of playing your phone's games. So what I imagine this would be is exactly they sell... If they want to, they could port a bunch of Game Boy Classic games to yeah. phone and then have them have a, a Game Boy lay, load at, layout on your phone screen, but then make it so that this overlay, uh, gonna, this this case, uh, has tactile feedback that lets you, I'm gonna say you know, a thing. hit those touch Is buttons. Is there any Game Boy game you'd want to play aside from Link's Awakening or Tetris? No. Me? Anybody. Game Boy? No. Yeah, yeah I'd play Metroid too. Has a much better remake now. I'd play. Um, I want to play the old bad one. Yeah. I, I, well, okay, but <laughs> I mean, what's the question? Is there is there a better versions or is there things it's that like have I'd never gone anywhere like else? GBA uh, but I'll play Tetris stuff. Attack for Game Boy. You know, like I don't, I, I'm going to use my super powered eight hundred dollars smartphone to play fucking make Game Boy brand games. Brand new games that kind of have a Game Boy aesthetic. So I'll, I'll be real. I'll I, play Power Quest. I, I completely I forgot know that. Power I, Quest. Right. Oh, fuck, there we go. There Street Fighter Alpha 1, the bad one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, Boy. Power Quest is good, though. Okay. I mean, a, I'm sure there's one or two I don't know. That terrible-ass like, Fist of the North Star game that everyone oh, had yeah. on launch. Raging Fighter, the only Game Boy exclusive fighting game I could think of. Um, God, Pinball? Pe- Pokemon Pinball? Is that GB? Was it GB? Well, I think Game I'm, Boy Color would be out I'm pretty sure Pokemon, Pokemon Pinball was, Pokemon. G- was, was Game Boy Color. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Wario Land. Yeah, man. There's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Game Boy. There's a million games on that thing. No, there aren't. There's a million good games on that uh, thing. Okay. There are a million games on that thing. Ghost yeah, Baby. There, no, there are not. Ghost Game Boy Color, motherfucker. Well, they, well the, yeah. I, I was including Color. No, original we're game talking, talking about the Game Boy Color. Game Boy. All right. Here game we Boy go. Game Boy Color had, like, it was different right. hardware. That's it a new system. It. it was. Fine. I will admit there are a million games on the Game Boy. But when you say there are a million good games on the Game Boy, I go, nuh uh. No, there is that's not. The G, that's the GBA to me in my mind. That's the GBA, the GBA is, is, the is Color. yes, absolutely. Um, but like, if we're gonna fucking roll with it, then we're rolling with it. Tetris, Mario Land, Mar- Pokemon, Link's Awakening. You know, wow, Kirby, I've seen a shit zillion Pokemon on there. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, Sonic po- Advance, Mario Kart. Sonic Advance, huh? No, that's no, that's a yeah, piece. good one. Why is this going into advanced stuff? Because, because the Game Boy is, is put on the Game piece Boy. Of shit, you're crazy. Yeah, am I, dude? <laughs> Link's Awakening and Tetris, maybe the first Mario Land. But Metroid like, Two is good. No one's gonna argue that the GBA is godlike, one of the greatest systems of all time, but. There's stuff worth playing. Oh, yeah, that fucking Game Boy version of Donkey Kong. Hell, yeah. Wario yeah. Land is the shit. Look a lot, at all of, the, lot of silence. Look at this classic fucking list you're looking at. <laughs> this is... Uh, for the Game Boy. Game Boy only. Yeah, this is... this is uh, 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 Wow, what a fucking <laughs> star-studded group <laughs> of mega classics. Mario, Pokemon, and, and Kirby, and Zelda... Yeah, they are. So, so it's the N sixty four of handhelds. The, the 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 lineup of of Smash Brothers one. Yeah, uh, but like, DuckTales. But like Link's Awakening <laughs> is so good and one of the best Zelda games. Doctor Fucking it's, Mario it's required playing, but you can play a better version of it elsewhere. Oh, holy shit! Look, Kix is there. Okay, okay, okay. Don't talk shit about Kix. I will talk shit. Don't talk shit about Kix. Snake. Kicks is kicks is fine. Plus, you could probably play better versions of it. Don't talk shit about kicks. 
Yeah. Millions of good games on it. Look at Golf. All. There's tons of stuff. There's them. tons of stuff I'd be on willing that to monochrome play. Monochrome TI 83. Donic, Donkey Kong Land. Oh, yeah. it's bad. It, it, oh, was, it wasn't country. Oh, look, it wasn't country. Oh, yeah. So amazing. Yu Gi Oh! Duel Monsters Battle. Oh, no, wait. That's a Game Boy Color game. Man, I. All right, yeah, let's look at this game. I would definitely. Game. Dr. Mario. Dr. Okay. Mario. R Type DX. More than okay. Mario's, yep. I never liked Mario's Picross. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Pokemon fucking pinball. That get looks in. Like Game Boy Color to get me. Get in. You can, you can play the black and white. It's fine. There's the color versions of the cartridges where they have the color that supports the ship, but you can play yeah, the old okay. class. You All don't right, have fair, to. So it enough. totally counts. Gargoyle's Quest. Mega Man 5. Bionic Commando Elite Forces, yes, the fucking game I that Bionic know. Commando Elite Forces not only has a sniper mode in it, but it has a fucking R, um, has a, a, a control mode where you can use it as a TV remote. You can turn your Game Boy into a goddamn TV remote because it has a mode that lets you change channels and volume and shit. Bionic fucking Commando. wow! <laughs> right? Uh, Ghost Babel. What a great game that TV remote is. Ghost Babel probably not on this Mar list, Mario? but I'm throwing Ghost Babel that in is, there. You, 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 you are not. a fucking liar. That, that is, is a, a different Game Boy system. Advance game. No, it's Game Boy Color. Whatever, that's a different but system But it's a different too. system. It, 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 put, it pushes games that the regular Game Boy can't do. Super Mario Land. That, I'll give you Castlevania that. 2. Oh, yeah. Wow, po Castlevania 2. Pokemon Gen 2. They've been updated. They've Wooly, been made. You get to say the word Pokemon once. Mario Deluxe. You get to say the word Mario once. Wario Land 3. You get to say the word sure, Mario Sure, Wario Land 3 again. Final Fantasy Adventure. That game sucks. <laughs> Metroid 2. Again, I don't know about Oracle that. of Ages and Seasons. That okay. is a Game Boy is Color game. Is that a Game, game. Boy Color game? Uh, off Overlook GBC specific duo Seasons and Ages comes pretty close. That, that is not, not a Game, a game Boy, Boy game. game. You can Any, include those. That's you're so fucking full of shit. Okay, Mario Land Two is is good and it's way better than Mario Land One. That is that is good. It is good. Good. Are you saying I say Mario Once? I said Mario Once was Mario. Yeah, it's a good game. Mm -hmm. Anything that has color on this screen, you <laughs> scroll past. Yeah, all right. That doesn't it, count. It, it, it does. Does. Look at all these classic Game Boy <laughs> Color games. You're acting like a bunch of good games wasn't already just listed, though. Said a bunch of good word. shit. Classic Donkey Kong, why the fuck not? That is not classic Donkey Kong. That is a totally different Well, not that. That's that, 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 some fucking Tetris. Yeah. 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 This is, this, there are, you're telling me that those are games you would not want to play? I'd love to play dude, all the Game Boy Color versions of that dude, shit. Dude, that's like three or four actual Game Boy games. What I'm saying is this for the Nintendo patent. If they made brand new like little micro games that try to take the charm of the Game Boy and it does have a certain charm, I'd be down for that. But there's only so much you can port where someone would go, why would I play this awful version of Pokemon? Honestly, you know, what, you know what I got confused when I saw the diagram Willie posted? I Fucking thought what it was going to be was a front... X. I thought it was going to be a cover for the front of your phone. X to rules. Turn it, to turn it what into a Game X Boy is, machine. X is the game, what game with some of the most, the best fucking music ever for the original Game Boy. It's just called X. The song was so fucking good that it made it into Smash Brothers um, 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 Brawl, I believe Released it was. Japan, Japan on only. It was super good. Yeah. When did you play that on your Game Boy? <laughs> After the fact. Yeah, I fucking bet you did. But it, I'd play it now. Yeah, I bet you would. It was good. We shitting on Game Boys today. Yeah, I'll shit We're all over it. I had a Game Gear and had color. <laughs> <laughs> We're shit. Well, I fucking, when I walked into this room and sat down here and hit that button, I did not think I, we would be shitting on fucking Game Boys I today. I am Game not ready for this. Boy. I is, am not ready to shit on the fucking Game Boy I'm ready right to now. Shit on its lack of get the good fuck out of here. Game. I the refuse. Game Boy was a great system because it had Pokemon I Lux Awakening refuse. and Tetris. 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 I am but not you having it. Possibly sit I am there not having and it. And tell me the Game Boy had tons of great games. No, <laughs> it had everything Pokemon, I just Tetris, listed, and Link's Awakening. Everything I just 
just listed, I'd be super down to play that. Oh, see, those are Game Boy Color games! <laughs> even though, even though not ones, even the ones I had to skip because you're stupid ass. Even those ones I would fucking play. How many of those well, are Pokemon? You had to dig up a Japan exclusive Pokemon Gen 1, game. Gen 2, and and and, po and Pinball. Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon That's Gen one game. Gen 1, Gen 2, pin Pinball's not the same game. That's one game. It's Pinball. It's one game. It has Get you Mode. Know what? Okay, it has fucking Get Mode. <laughs> get Mode is fun. They call it Catch Mode here, but it's G-E-T. I can't believe spell I walked in here with somebody <laughs> who would defend the fucking you game. Never play, like have right. you ever even played Pokemon Pinball? No. It is a good pinball game. How does it compare to Metroid Spin? Uh, Metroid's. Metroid's better? Yeah, okay. But you know what? Pin and Ben Pinout's even better. Yeah. But a good pinball game? How does that compare to the Windows pinball? Oh, fuck that. Yeah. No, get uh, the fuck I, out I, of here with that shit. My heart with that. Galactic pinball. And all of that fails in comparison to Black Knight. Well, that's not fucking fair. That's a real, that's a real fucking Knight. machine. Coming here. What, oh, else? The what, what else do the we have? The pinball Game Boy has a million... Fuck, I can't even talk about other, other than... Apparently the Super Nintendo was a piece of shit! No! <laughs> no! For the opposite reason of what? the Game Boy! Fuck what? the GameCube, what a says best friend. What a I say that! <laughs> what a ridiculous <laughs> jump of just, a conversation. Just fuck the I whole Super GameCube, Nintendo. you know? I say fuck the nothing, GameCube! That nothing happened. Sucked, man! <laughs> That thing ransomed away my Resident Evil. And and what's shocking is Holy that over the years, shit. I've increasingly started to also dislike the game. Holy shit. It is so limited. Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind. I bought a GameCube in 10 games, and I was done for it forever. The whole and fucking and world's gone my crazy. GameCube back in the day. The whole world's lost its goddamn minds. It goes Atari, NES, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, well, Xbox 360. Well, well, just to give you a summary, we're like, there wasn't very many good games on the Game Boy. What? The Super Nintendo sucks now? That I'm saying, absurd. I'm saying oh, classic Nintendo is classic fucking Nintendo. And if we're not talking about... The NES is, but the Game Boy is a bad not, NES. If we're not talking... Less colors. If we're not talking so about the Virtual Boy, you lived in those libraries as much as I did. We grew up living the in Game these Boy. libraries. I never owned a Game Boy, but I would play it at like a friend's Game Boy at school a lot. And I'm like, this is it? Yeah. How, how old were you when you made a, a this is it decision on the Game Boy? Because everyone only had three games. Link's Awakening, Tetris, and Mario Land. But for you to say this is it, everyone, that's as if like the child you knew what video games would Wooly, be beyond that. Every but that was all, but that was video I, games. That's Wooly, really game unless Wooly. you came to it super are, late. But I'd you go are, to the, someone's house who has an NES and they got like fucking 12 Wooly, games. Well, you are completely fucking goddamn full At of the shit. time when that was what when you the, got? When the yeah. Game Boy came out, I had pirated hundreds of NES games on those fucking super carts at home. I had friends that had Super Nintendos. And you played had... your fucking Game Gear, yeah. How yeah. many hours did you get on those six batteries, asshole? I don't did know. You get, did I you never... get half a stage into fucking Triple Trouble? I don't know. Before it I died? I never left the house with it. It was always plugged in because <laughs> handhelds are stupid. Sitting next to the fucking wall? Yeah. The only thing. What else did you have on your Game Gear? I had Shining Force Sword uh -huh. Ninja. Go, go on. I had Sonic Two. Okay. And nothing else. Oh yeah. You know why? Uh, was it Sonic Two or was it Sonic Triple Trouble? No, it was Sonic Two. Okay. They, they had bad. I don't even know what Sonic Triple there Trouble is. There is Willie. There's lots of bad like Genesis to Game Gear ports. You don't even have five fucking games to no, name. No, because the Game Gear's a piece of shit. But so you, I'm not so here, then why were I'm you quoting it? saying how, how good the Game Gear library is. I said no. it had color. You say, you just yelled out at the top of your voice, I played the fucking Game Gear instead. Yeah, no, I said what? I played the fucking Game Gear and it had color. At least it had color. For Sonic, it had blue for Sonic. It had <laughs> Shining Force no, it, colors. It had real colors. Yeah, it had colors. But yeah. You had Sonic and Shining, Shining Force. Force. Sword of Haja is better than every game on the Game Boy. And that, and then, and then you play your one game and you're done. Yeah, it was worth it. Oh yeah, yeah, the whole library. Yeah, the whole fucking library. Oh, I don't know. There's probably more games for the Game Gear, but I didn't know about them. Got the f I I I am not I'm fucking uh, the only thing that, I d that not ready to come in and shit on the Wooly Game Boy today. Wooly, did you have an original hot? Wooly, did you have an original Game Boy? Wooly, did you have an original Game Boy? I'm getting fucking hot in here. Did you yes, have one? Yes, he did. You know he did. Well, I need him to answer me. Well, I had a fucking Game Boy. What about it? How many games do you have for it? <sighs> By the end, probably like twenty cartridges, maybe. Okay, how many of them do you remember aside from Link's Awakening, Tetris, and Pokemon not, that you owned? Not counting color. And no, no and, color. And 
I mean, my friend, like, I, I fucking gave a bunch of shit to my friends, I, but there was definitely, like, like uh, Dr. Mario in there and a bunch of Dr. other Mario's shit. Dr. Mario's good. There's a bunch. There's a it, bunch. It's how many bunches? Not a bunch. Did you have fond memories of? There were bad games in there, too. Yeah, I fucking There, there were there definitely were. bad games in there. And you know what? All of them were kind of bad in their own way because that fucking hideous monochrome screen. Okay, the monochrome screen wasn't great. That was a TA, a TI eighty. It wasn't a great screen. T- it has no, it wasn't a fucking great screen. But then you fucking you you add in the 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 light. Oh you yeah. Add in oh the, yeah. The, the, the flip outs. Yeah. Speakers, what about the magnifying glass? And you add the magnifying <laughs> glass, right? And then you get the fucking you get the worm light in there. Okay. For real though. The, the original Game Boy was the fucking path, I now look back on it, was the path to me being a frame rate fucking PC monster. Was it? Because I remember my friend handing me one because Red and Blue were out, and I played it. I'm like, this looks like a fucking piece of shit. And the monsters go, eh, 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 when they when they yell. And I was like, what the fuck is this crap? Uh. And I snubbed my nose at Pokemon Red and Blue, which I should not have done in hindsight. But I did because it was so ugly on that fucking thing. It looked way better on the color. It looked so much better on the color. 90, like, I, the majority of my Game Boy's life had Tetris Attack in it or Pokemon. And it just kind of sat Attack there. Tetris Attack was even on the original Game Boy. Was it? it was Game Boy Color. Yep. Tetris Attack was an original. It was not 100% a normal. Okay, well, I'm not it was a gray cartridge. I ha- I owned it. Okay. It was on the list. Calm it was a normal. It was Because the fucking. It, anyway, it was you one better of. better hope you're right. It was one of the game. Okay, well, now we, ha- now we have to. Now we have to. Cause yeah, I, it's totally on the Game Boy. It was okay. one of the games it's we. It's totally on the Game Boy. I just found Thank you. Okay, all yes. Right, it was one of the games I owned there as well. Um. And and later on, later on, definitely color arrows when I, I actually had the ability to get more games because I started having money to get and those taste. games. Sure. Because that, that's the thing. Like, my, like, back then, it was like, okay, what would my parents buy me? And what could I borrow from my friends? Mm. And what would, my, what would I loan my friends? And so you kind of... Like it was a weird thing where my friends would take my games and then I and then I would end up with their games and then we'd just have a bunch of games for a while. The so, most so it wasn't really so the amount of games you had back then is wasn't well. Okay, what were the amount of games that you loved? Man, well, I, the deep. shit, the shit I fucking went down down that list is pretty solid yeah, from yeah, what yeah, I got. Game that only released but, in Japan. That yeah, one. the game that only released in Japan <laughs> that he only played three years ago. A- a- yeah, X. great memories, X. amazing memories. X X was X was was a, it was way after the fact, but it was fucking good. Oh man, I, I, I played it. this game can't in 2014, can't. and it transported me back to my childhood on this piece. Of shit I couldn't on believe it. I missed it. It sounded amazing. You missed it because you're not Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also back up by saying is that the Game Boy is incredibly important and so much better than the alternative, especially early on in like 1989, was Tiger Electronic handheld games. And it was so much better than that, but it was still so limited. And like it was only to me, like when I had Nintendo Power, when the Game Boy Color came out, that was when I was like, oh shit, I want one really bad now. And then when they announced the fucking Metal Gear game, I was, oh my God. And I never got one. And I never got a GBA either. I, the first handheld I ever owned was the DS. And I'll never not want that again. I got a DS and I, I was came, super happy and I never with that had a decision. GBA. So the world opened up to me. Yeah, it and then great. I could play all the GBA games I wanted it on. It was awesome. The, the DS Lite removing that port was like sad. Like like a no, lot of Nintendo, like a lot of Nintendo things, especially handhelds, their first version's the worst version. Including the fucking Game Boy. The Game Boy brought me Kirby. You, oh, that's you can what it is. all go die that's what in is. a fire. Wooly likes this little fucking marshmallow. Fall in a that, fucking that well. ruled his life. And Fall ruined, in a fucking well. And ruined everything. May his, no one remember your name. As the fucking little, the Game Boy brought little me pink blob sucks fucking up Kirby. all the goodness in his life. All right. Oh, Kirby got brought to me by... He's not even fucking pink. <laughs> he was white. Yeah, and he didn't even have a full-on like copy Wild ability. Or or something? Wow, what game. an amazing Kirby game! It was pretty good. I fuck fuck sake, I played the fucking first Kirby on the NES. Yeah, before that, the did original, you? The original, yes. Yeah, it's great. Well, it what was... do you mean Kirby got brought to you by the Game Boy? I'm, me, my life. No, but that's the first time you encountered Kirby. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. What a fucking fake Kirby! Game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. you weren't even there at the it beginning. Just, it just Holy so happens shit. that the confluence of events that I where I go through life not having a choice over what games get brought to me when I'm fucking young and in Grenada and I just get what I, I get. I love Kirby enough to steal it when I was a child. <laughs> like literally no control over what games end up in my life. 
None whatsoever. No, I can't. And, and this one happens to be the case. Yeah. Wow. All the agency I had. Hell yeah. All the decision making. Fucking fake Kirby fan. Can't believe it. You take those headphones off. Go hold your two fucking <laughs> Game Gear games. Play them and be I and, 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 and play done with them I once and fucking care about oh, that He shit. hates that. You thing. can't even get he through those like games it. without the battery dying. Eat shit. He doesn't like the fucking <laughs> thing. And you know what? This You're, is nothing. Hold on. You're thinking of the fucking Sega Nomad. You're not thinking of the Game Gear. The Sega Nomad used six batteries. Oh, the Nomad no, was no, also game, terrible, no, but the, the Game, game Gear, gear they were both sure. awful with it. The Nomad was actually smart because it let you plug in controllers. You know what's the really But it was stupid wildest, because you still couldn't fucking play it for more than an hour. The shit about the Nomad was that it came with Comic Zone as its big game, and you couldn't beat Comic Zone in the battery charge. It, um, Comic Zone is a, is a fucking beat em up. Yeah, Tons no, it of. says Game Gear used six batteries. Wow! I remember because the fucking kid that I used to live with, he fucking had. Had a bunch of he had his game gear and he was super selfish with it because he was an only child and he didn't know how to loan out shit and then he would always get fucking salty because his batteries would run, run out and he'd have to go buy more and his mom was like I'm not buying you more fucking batteries and he, there would always be an argument over that and I was like hey can I play and I'm like no because the batteries he has is all he has for it to last yeah. otherwise you you're sitting next to the be, fucking wall you couldn't be sit next to the wall so I was in a house where we had our Nintendo shit and he had a game gear and I remember specifically being like hey can I try out he had triple try he had triple trouble that's why I keep I remember yeah, triple yeah, trouble yeah. so well yeah. and I'm like oh can I try out that Sonic game and he'd be like no it's mine and I'm like I know it's yours can I, just, I try can it, I try it? Yeah. and he'd be like nah you know what I just I'm realized like, okay. that, you know what I just realized turns that, out I missed what Matt Fucking nothing. The Game Gear. I didn't say anything about <laughs> the, the Game Gear. I know, but you're sitting in the crossfire. The game right, Gear started <laughs> my annoyance with handhelds because Fuck. I'm like, why would I ever buy a handheld when bitch. I have to just sit next to, sit in the same place I always do playing video games? Because you had to do that with the Game Gear. You had um, to. You also the point was car you rides. You couldn't beat X-Men 2 Clone Wars on the Nomad either. Yeah, you could Oh, what, that reset button wouldn't yeah. work out? You had to press the reset button. Yeah, it wouldn't work. What a game. genius piece of game design. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was about car rides. Yeah. Right? It was yeah. about it was about our camper trip down. King Gear was a piece of shit with car rides. It was about our camper trip down to fucking Disney. Yeah. And, you know, like three days on the road almost. Because we're doing it slow with a car full of fucking people and, yeah. and whatever. And, like, you have a bunch of comic books. Yeah. And then you have a bunch of whatever. And you have your siblings. But the fucking Game Boy yeah. is what kept you alive. You know what the one thing it's that... about it's about secretly in the last pew of the church in the back with there's no where 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 you fucking turn the volume down and you fucking hold it hold it to the side a little bit. Well, you know, and then you, and you try to get in what little you can before one of the elders spots you and calls you out for playing video games See, in church. You know yeah. what's lucky about uh, the original Game Boy in church? Because uh, the screen is such a magnanimous piece of fucking shit, it doesn't cast any light, so yeah, yeah. you don't get caught. You don't get caught, but it's it's bright in church anyway. Whereas the but DS yeah, light was so 100%. bright, you get caught all the time. And you know what? I tell this story. I tell this story from second point, second hand point of view or third person point of view mm -hmm. because I was too much of a fucking good church boy to even dare bringing my Game Boy in. But I remember other kids would do it, yeah. and they would sneak in and they'd and go do that. The real heroes. And I was super jealous of them. So, but that's what it He's was. Super jealous of their courage. The courage they had. <laughs> the courage to play Kirby in the spite of God. Because I was like, God would be mad if I was fucking playing my Kirby's at church. Shit. You know, that's what it was. What that's what? why you love the Game Boy, because you were stupid. <laughs> There's a million things going on, but the point what is. What a wonderful deity. The point is. I would be mad you play your Kirby. Like. On this particular Kirby, day. some satanic shit. Yeah. The only thing better than fucking games on the go is games at home. Yeah. But then you still got games on the go is a really solid time waster. That was good shit. For Thank like the four games. That was good yeah. shit. And then you beat all of them. And then you just spent all your time fucking farming rare candies with Masigno until he crashed your game. We would play D&D &D, and then we'd play... Pokemon. Isn't that satanic, though? And then we'd fucking... It was. So, Wooly... It was at school at lunchtime, okay, though. Sorry, sorry. So, was, you know what I'm hearing? At home. It was you, totally satanic. You know what I'm hearing from you? <laughs> at camp, though, parents weren't there. Yeah, that's true. Was, so, as long as I didn't tell them... International waters, basically. As, as long as I didn't uh, tell them about it, then it was fine. Well, you yeah. know what I'm hearing with you? And it's honestly kind of sweet. You're like, the Game Boy is good because I had good memories of it when I was a child. Yeah. Not because of its library or of its quality, <laughs> but because when I was a baby, it made me very happy. As opposed to doing nothing, 
playing on a Game Boy is a good time. Yeah, but you, when you're talking about all the Game, game Boy, the moment millions of classics. The moment we go forward one generation, mm -hmm. you get to compare that to I can play this or I can play a Game Boy. But back when the Game Boy was around, at least for me, it was you can play the Game Boy. Or you can play nothing. I, I want to make it really clear that I am shitting on the Game Boy original only. Not even the Game Boy Color. Not even. Because I agree with you. There's a bunch of bona fide classics on the Game Boy Color. And good versions of existing games, too. Uh, and I had a bunch of Tiger <laughs> Electronic things to make myself, make myself feel better that I could uh, afford a real handheld. Man, I haven't felt it. I had a, Royal Rumble and I had Simpsons. I have one. not have felt a good Nintendo versus Sega console war. This isn't even school. one, though. It, it, no, no, no. Because but, the Sega oh, fan right, over here right. is readily admitting that the Game Gear is a piece of shit. Like, like I haven't, I haven't felt that in a minute. And like the fact that the conversation ender always used to be, "Fuck you, you can't play Street Fighter without a select button." Ah, <laughs> no. Was the it was done. Everyone just walks away because it was nuclear. There was no comeback from that. Well, the comeback was to get a six-button controller when the other version. Yeah, which was a out. genuine improvement, actually, because like the the that layout was better than the. Yeah, and I, is, I remember, and I remember being like, "Oh man, Comic Zone looks kind of cool. I missed. I wish I could." Comic then, Zone's radical. And then it's I remember, radical. and then I remember Vector Man. I'd be like, "Oh, Vector Man looks kind of oh, cool." I remember being blown away by Vector Man. Then I played Vector Man. It's not good. I don't like it. It's not good. Uh, you should play X Men Two Clone Wars instead because that game's no, I fucking know. awesome. I, I played it not too long ago. It's, it has a really grimy soundtrack because it has to because <laughs> because music can't sound good unless the fucking genius that's composing understands He's all the fart noises that think, the Genesis can make. Yeah, I think X Men Two does a good use of just it just sounds grimy <laughs> and filthy. It almost sounds ahead of its time. Yeah, all, like, uh, it sounds better than the first X Men game. The first X Men one didn't yeah, sound bad. as like, good. Like there are some great sound uh, OSTs that you can go back to and listen to on the Genesis. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures is my number one. But that's because a fucking maestro learned how to work with the sound of farts. Yeah, yeah. it's like someone I found a bunch of fucking broken down pieces of shit in this alley but i can make good music that's with it. it hell yeah i can i can make this dumpster symphony do we have anything that could possibly follow up this tirade no i don't think so